Hi everyone, you join us on location because today we're going to be fitting the California tow bar and then we're going to show you our fold up bike rack. Stay tuned. Okay, so if you order a California with the factory fitted tow bar, it's actually a removable tow bar and it's stored in here, under here, in that black box there. So what we have to do is we have to take these screws out. So just undo both of those, put those to one side. This box folds forward, pulls out, you can see there's a couple of bars that it was located on. And then in here, you undo these straps. And inside we've got a jack, we've got our towing eye, wheel brace, but more importantly, this is where it stores the tow bar. So it's a removable Westphalia tow bar. Um, see, it's pretty, pretty hefty. It's uh, quite weighty. Um, you also get two keys, so one there, one in a packet. And you also get a proper Volkswagen genuine Ooh. cap. <laughs> so to fit this tow bar, it slots in underneath. You have to pull this tab up here, which gives you access to the key. Grab a key, uh, put the key in. Only goes in one way around. And then you have to turn the key, pull it out, then prime it like that. So it's waiting, ready to go in. So you have to turn the key to unlock it, pull that out, turn it and it's waiting primed ready. And you can't put it straight in because under here where it goes in is that. And that is to stop muck and everything going into the place where this clips into. So you basically then do that. And that is it, that is on now. And what you can do with the key, you can turn it back the other way, take it out, and then you can clip that on there like that. So that is the tow bar fitted. If you come around this side, you can see here as well, you get factory fitted electrics. This is the new European style electrics uh, rather than the twin. So this does uh, both types of electrics, the old caravan electrics where you used to have both. This is just a single socket these days and it does it all for you. So you might need an adapter if you've got old type um, accessories, those kind of things. Most modern accessories now come with this new type anyway. While I'm down here, I'll just point this out. That's the spare safe I've mentioned in other videos. So that's the bit that locks the spare wheel. You can see we've got a spare wheel in there. That's the bit that provides that security bolt uh, so it can't just be whipped off by someone with a couple of uh, sockets. Uh, they're usually red. Uh, it was on our old van, the paint was chipping off. So I painted it in hammerite black and uh, there it is. So that's a, a useful tip. If you haven't seen one of those before, definitely get one of those. The big reveal. This oh, is first of all, it's quite heavy, about 18 kilos, but this is our Fuel Easy Fold 931, which is actually now an Easy Fold XT2, I believe. Um, you might be able to get the 931 if you look round, but it's a, uh, a really neat bike carrier. So just uh, unzip from this case and I will show you it. So what we have here, is a fold up two bike carrier. There's only two of us, only two bikes. Therefore we've got a two, a two bike carrier. This is a really nifty bit of kit because effectively what it does is it opens out and folds out to be a normal uh, kind of tow bar mounted bike carrier, but it obviously folds up small. And we're lucky we've got a garage which we could put a full size non-collapsible one in, but we really like this because if we're in a small car park and we're going off cycling, there's nothing stopping us just whipping the bikes off really easily taking this off and putting it inside the van because then you've just basically got your normal van and no one's going to pinch your bike carrier or uh, run away with it so we really like it for that reason so uh, what i'll do is i'll start to put this on the van i'll show it to you the other thing we like about this is with a minor modification you can put a bike on here fold it all the way flat and still open the tailgate so watch us do that right so in terms of putting this on you hook it on what I tend to do then is come around here, open it slightly. It won't open any more than that uh, until I unlock it in a second. 
then you grab hold of the handle and this one handle pushes down like that you can align it properly to the van give it a quick pull down and that is really secure now that is not going anywhere side to side up and down it is it's solid so inside here if you want to come and have a look around there's these couple of buttons in here so when you press them they clip down like that and that is now lovely and solid it's obviously sorted the number plate out uh, these arms you've seen them on other bike carriers I'm sure are to hold the bikes in place these wheel straps hold the wheels in place and it is really really solid comes with uh, electrics obviously for all the uh, lights and everything all you do with those is open the electrical socket plug it in turn it round and that's it done so that is the bike carrier on and sorted so let's grab a bike let's stick it on and then I'll show you how the tailgate opens oh okay right one bike this is <laughs> this is not my bike and it feels a, a little <laughs> nearly he fell off then right so uh, serious so e-bike obviously with battery on and everything we don't tend to um put these on the bike carrier with the battery on it just happened to be uh, on it when i got it out the garage earlier so <clears throat> what you do i'll put it on the end one to show you how the tailgate opens Ooh. so pop it on bring this arm down it's all rubber so you're not going to scratch anything do up these until they click you can lock it on there you can lock the bike carrier onto the tow ball as well if you want to and then with these straps here you just grab them pop them through here ratchet it down same at the back Just like that and that is one secure e-bike on a bike carrier this bike in particular uh, sorry this bike carrier uh, can do up to 60 kilos so two 30 kg bikes if you've got one which is heavy obviously it'll take that uh, and like i say this is a um, easy fold 931 it's a fuel easy fold 931 so in terms of uh, opening the tailgate that's quite interesting because this foot piece here you press down and then the whole thing swivels like this which is great um, what we tend to do I'll tell you what let me just uh, before I do that <clears throat> just grab the cover for it you'll see why so when you bring this down you can actually bring it all the way down and rest it on the floor like that now the only reason that this bike carrier goes that far if you come around here and have a look is here at the end of these lines here they used to have plastic bungs in so when you buy this from the factory uh, well when you get when you have it delivered there's a little couple of plastic bungs in here which limits how far this can go over and all you need to do is just undo those couple of bolts take them out take the bungs out put those bolts back in and you get the full movement like that right down but obviously you just need to protect your handlebars when you lie it down otherwise you might end up scratching things so let's have a look at how much clearance there is with the tailgate oh just do that again we'll just pop it back down there we go <laughs> So you can see obviously clears the the main part of the tow bar as it comes up here you can see there's an inch or so clearance but the main thing is you can do it you can obviously stand the bike up if you're under there as well so no oh. <laughs> no, no issues in terms of uh, putting it up and down with the tailgate open either so yeah really really easy light down grab hold of the tailgate down it goes dead easy and that's one of the main reasons we prefer this type of bike carrier to the type which is on the back what we are going to do at some point in the future uh, we've got some friends uh, who have got a tailgate mounted bike rack obviously the four bike carrier 
we're going to go and see them we're going to do a bit of a video where we compare and contrast the different bike carriers pros and cons those kind of things we spent ages deliberating whether we were going to order a tow bar and this bike rack and all of that kind of stuff or whether we were going to buy the volkswagen one price wise tow bar option on a california is 700 ish pounds it's not a cheap option at all but it obviously means you can tow things as well if you want to this bike carrier i think the 931 i think is about 565 pounds the xt2 is a little bit more uh, which i think is the replacement model for this i'm not sure you can get the 931 anymore exactly the same uh, but the xt2 which is same design just the modern updated one uh, is a little bit more 600 and something uh, the Volkswagen bike carrier, which goes on the back here, is 535, 565, something like that. So they're all a lot of money. Uh, you know, there's no question that any option you pick in terms of bike carrier is a lot of money. However, the, the ability to take bikes with you when you go away on holiday or you want to go out and you want to do some cycling, it's absolutely invaluable. So I think this is the perfect solution. What do you think? let us know in the comments below i'll put a link to the fuel website where you can see the xt2 thanks very much for watching if you like this kind of content please like and subscribe and we'll see you all again soon for some more california time